Uh, my partner, his name is Ralph. He's a five-year-old German Shepherd dog. Uh, I've had him for about three years now, and he's my first dog. There are seven dogs and handler teams spread out across the province. Meadow Lake, North Battleford, Prince Albert, Saskatoon, Yorkton, Regina, and Swift Current. Police dogs receive about five months training before they go into active duty on the street. Dogs are about uh, 18 months old, give or take a few months uh, when they start training. Uh, dog handlers and, and their dogs train on a regular basis to continue to maintain their skills and uh, we're, we're tested every year uh, annually to make sure that we're, we're meeting the, the standard. The ongoing training allows us to maintain our skills and be able to, to serve the public uh, to the best of our abilities. We'll, we'll receive a, a call, whether it be via the police radio or a phone call, and we'll assess the type of call that it is and, and respond accordingly, uh, whether we actually arrive on scene and are able to deploy the dog or not. Uh, but we also are police officers as well, so we can help in the investigation in, in any way that we can. Fennel training is important because uh, it allows us to to help identify the presence of of such a dangerous substance uh, without any humans or the dogs becoming in contact with it. It's important for our dogs to be able to uh, detect fentanyl uh, just from a safety perspective so that no human or the dog uh, will come in contact with it uh, just to maintain our safety. We have fentanyl in a diluted liquid form and we put it on some makeup pads and because it is diluted it's a lot safer for us to handle and use but yet it doesn't pose the same uh, safety risks as the full substance. If a police dog is exposed to, to fentanyl, it's the same process as if a human were exposed to it. We have uh, naloxone to administer to the dog. 